Well, it, honestly, it was good fun. I did really, really enjoy it. But, uh, yeah, like I said, it's that once in a lifetime experience when I just sort of sod it, let's go for it, have fun, and see what's what. Tires and tarmac. Okay, so second mock test. Okay, hi guys, welcome back to Clearview Driving. My name is Simon, and now we have Curtis and AJ in the back. So Curtis <laughs> is going to be taking this mock test. Mm -hmm. If you guys haven't already seen AJ's mock test, that'll be up here. But yeah, you still don't know the result. No, okay. I don't. Good. Good. I'm nervous. That's the way we like it. I've okay. actually, my palms have gone a little bit sweaty, but uh, yeah. Sweet palms are heavy. Yeah. <laughs> 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 okay, um, all right, so Concentrate, I, feel like, yeah. <laughs> I feel like because you set him up, you get a bit more of a challenging Oh, thing. I knew you were going to say this. I was worried that going second you were going to say this because I've watched him <laughs> do it. You've had, a, you've had a whole time oh to watch gosh. and think what may you have done you, wrong. You called for this. You signed up for this. So you knew what was coming. I did, whereas but he didn't. I didn't revise bar reading <laughs> through the highway code 10 times. No, I'm joking. But you've been driving for a few years. Yeah, I've been so driving for about 10 years. Fine. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Should be, yeah. Okay, so if you guys are new to the channel, don't forget to like the video, comment down below, and subscribe. So we're gonna get straight into it. You know what's involved in a mock test, or would you like me to tell you again? Um, no, I, I'm pretty sure I know, yeah. Okay, yeah. so before we get started, I'm gonna ask you a question about your vehicle. Mm -hmm. Could you tell me, how would you test that your brakes are working in your car? Would you turn the car on and put your foot on the brake? Well, okay. obviously, you put your foot on the brake to turn the car on. So if the brake is soft and it isn't working, okay. no, if the brake is hard, then it won't be working. So there's something wrong with it and there should be a light that would come on. So how should the brake feel? The brake should feel when the car is off. If you press it, it will naturally go into a hard position. When you turn the car on, the brake should soften and it should drop down as the car turns on to hold in position. All right, I'll give you that. Yeah. All right, so when you're ready. <laughs> I was so playing that through in my head then, in every scenario possible. The, <laughs> the panic. Alright, car on. You have to go side to side. Go side to side. And, sorry. It's aggressive. And, <laughs> you go nervous? into that tilt position yeah. otherwise. Oh, for the, if someone's shining light on mm. you. Is that okay? Yep, yeah, all We're good. All set. Okay, so whenever you're ready, let's drive off. <sighs> Indicator's on the left. Yeah, window wipers there, just in case it rains on this lovely sunny day. No pressure. So at the end of this road, we're going to make a right turn and then a left turn. <laughs> I don't see it so quiet, Kurt. And then a left turn. Yeah. <laughs> Normally I would have shot past and gone then probably, but I was uh, being very cautious and very safe. I think you're always safe. Mum's gonna love this video! Bro, 
I feel like I should have perhaps put my hazard lights on whilst he was there. Uh, or not. Why would you would you normally put your hazard lights on if somebody else is broken down? <laughs> no. Well, just in case anybody behind was unaware or couldn't see. So I was warning them that there okay. is a hazard in front. You saved yourself. Sweating, Kurt. Um, I feel the heat from here. I'm warm. Warm. I am warm. I won't lie to you. Would you like me to go straight over yes, the ground now? Very full, man. That's what. Would you say it's in better than AJ was? I feel like um, I'm going 20 in a 20 and not 22 in a 20. Whoa! <laughs> I never speed. Alright, so no, the roundabout, I'd like you to take the third exit towards Greenford. Third exit towards Greenford? Yes. You know Greenford? Never heard of it. <laughs> wow, there's lots happening, isn't there? There's like left, right, centre. Christ, Kurt, there's so much happening around it now. How much space should you leave with another vehicle in front? Um, two seconds of braking. <laughs> 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 That's the funny answer. I'll give you that. And two how? chevrons, two seconds of braking, and I would say, in this situation, perhaps two to three meters when you are close. Tires and tarmac. <laughs> I'm really overthinking everything here. I'm really overthinking everything here. video that I usually watch on my phone, like in real life. It's great. Whoa. Whoa. We just nearly got hit then. I know, I saw that. I was watching it. <laughs> yeah, him. I saw it in the distance, just I didn't think it was actually going to go. Don't worry, we'd have caught it on camera. <laughs> going to follow it around to the right and then what I'd like you to do is to just reverse into a space of your choice make sure you finish within the white lines of the parking bay Thank you. Drive off when you're ready. Exit's on the left.
When moving on from this position, Curtis gets a serious fault for moving off safety as he does not look carefully towards the right. His view on the right was obstructed, but you can see a vehicle approaching in the reflections on the opposite side of the road. He should have emerged out carefully. And then turn on the exit from the car park, Curtis gets another serious fault for junction observation as he does not notice the vehicle from the left who is turning in closely. He was focusing on the road towards the right and didn't look at what was right in front of us and he should have also positioned more left. Even if it's the other driver's fault and they're getting too close, he should have been more aware and should have slowed down. You know, Curtis, when you said, I like the videos when she does a little smirk. <laughs> I think the little smirk is not so little. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to take the third exit for Rice Lake. Sorry. The third exit. <gasps> it's like a core workout, I feel like. You know when you really just. <laughs> <laughs> He's making sure. <laughs> I'm starting to sweat. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have like a good car and a bad car? Like you know when you've got somebody you think like I I, I should take the really old, old like punto out that's like got a couple of dents already for some of your clients. Don't worry, it's all on camera anyway. And you said which exit? Sorry. Right, slip third. We have a beautiful day isn't it? anyway. Really, really nice day. It's so weird having the handbrake there, isn't it? Compared to... Do you normally use the handbrake with your stops? Uh, I would if I had one of them. Yeah, okay. I always got told on my driving test, make sure no matter what you do, always use your handbrake if you come to a stop. Because if somebody crashes into the back of you, mm. it's the only thing that will stop you if you take your foot off the brake. Yeah, no, that's correct. But I'm generally asking, do you usually... I don't have a handbrake, so no, I don't use it to be fair. <laughs> Mate, it's an electronic one, so I wouldn't use it in an automatic car, no. In a manual, I'm always unsure if it'll still roll, so yeah, I'll always use it. Love Island experience. Go for it. How was <laughs> like now that you feel like I've settled down a bit. <laughs> so I loved it. To, to be track? fair, you know what? It's a once in a lifetime experience and yeah. I loved it overall. I really, really did. It sort of it takes you from like here to up here as in like your Instagram, everything. It brings you into a whole new world. Um, Truthfully, I loved it, but don't get me wrong, it ain't easy being on the program. Mm. Like, we're getting such little sleep, and constantly, like, the games and stuff would take three to four hours to film. The chats that you saw would take three to four hours each chat. So, so they basically tell you to go do them, don't they? So they advise you. So, so basically, if you want to or you fancy somebody, they'll advise you to go and talk to that person that you fancy. Don't be, don't be just scared to go talk to them. But you want to do it normal life. So, so they they direct it in a natural way. If that makes sense, they're not telling you to do something if you don't want to do it. Would you say you fell in love? Not on Love Island. No. What about after? And I'd say ninety nine percent of things on Love Island you don't or dating programs you probably won't find love only because it's a whole new world mm. it is not the normal world you get everything done for you you know you don't have to cook don't have to worry about bills don't have to worry about anything so you can really focus on just the person in front of you mm. male female whatever that situation is and yeah take the third exit right please third exit yeah third exit to russell epstein no to central london. oh to central london oh, it isn't snacks, is it? yeah. So, uh, yeah, I didn't find love on the programme at all. That's uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. a big fail for me in that regard. <laughs> you were very entertaining on the show. Yeah! You were, you were I, I was going to use the word car crash, but I thought it was inappropriate in this scenario. Thank you, AJ. You had a real roller coaster of emotions for us sat at home. We did tell you to have a journey, really. <laughs> yeah. I do journey. remember you from the programme, that's a funny thing. It, well, it Honestly, it was good fun. I did really, really enjoy it. But, uh, yeah, like I said, it's that 
once in a lifetime experience when I just sort of sat there, let's go for it, have fun and see what's what. <laughs> oh, are you taking me onto a dual carriageway, is this? Is it not? <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> Truthfully, I'm more thinking about everything else that's going on to uh, where we are. So far, Kurt. Um, not very good because uh, truthfully I didn't actually see the sign for Heathrow so I'm going to stay in this lane, I'm going to get into the second lane, the middle lane in there and then I'm going to have to read the sign what's ahead and if it's the wrong lane we're going to have to go the opposite way. So we're going right. Okay, thank you. Yeah. yeah I've cool. never put so much pressure on myself in my life right now. <laughs> Literally over complicating and overthinking everything. You Wait. end up you went out to go set him up, but yeah, now and you're set yourself up. Really set yourself up. <laughs> yeah. Would you say you're doing better than your brother? I would say there was one, one part which, uh, depending on how you see it, could <laughs> be possibly <laughs> worse. What do you mean, how or could it? be better because I, as soon as I saw it, I stopped. What's it? What are we talking about? He's talking about the car park. Yeah. The blue car or the grey car? <laughs> the other one in the grey. The grey car. <laughs> Clarifying there, wasn't it? Oh, Careful, Shashi, watch your dream car. And you're always sat in a car, yeah. always. Me? Honestly, I always say this, I don't have big dreams. I'm quite happy. I, was, I always wanted to have an Audi A3, which I bought, and now I'm quite happy with my Mercedes. <laughs> I'd like to have a yellow car though. Seeker. 
a smirk after that, which I think Mercedes just do it well. Yeah, when I took my test, it was absolutely torrential rain. I mean, like, actual proper bad floods, like, advised not to go out on the roads. I'm surprised they took your test out, actually. Yeah. Um, you know, they, they do that for um, adverse weather conditions and stuff, so if it's a bit foggy outside, if it's been snowing, I, settled and stuff. One of the worst raining conditions I'd ever driven in, today still. And like genuinely, it was awful. Sure, How it was. just really had a bad experience. You just kind of big enough of it more, you know. When no, the story, experience was great. The story becomes well, bigger. No, it's like, it was like a monsoon. Genuinely, that tidal wave. That which church? It was when Keep which church flooded? Yeah. Oh my God! Sorry. Jesus. Yeah, no, yeah. <laughs> he's, he's talking like this the so whole time. So you know time. why? Because my car. You're I pointing at it now. Because my car, which is bad, it drives itself, so I take my hands off everything. No! Don't do this, guys. Don't do this, guys. Don't do this guys. No, I'm joking, I don't do that, but you can do that, though. Yeah. No, you can't. You're not no, no, but do. I'm saying the car is able to do that. That's what the I'm car, saying. The car's able to do 0 to 100. Oh, shut up, AJ. <laughs> We're digging the hole. We're bored of you. Digging your, the hole, guys. We're, we're bored, of your, hole. bored of your nonsense crap oh, now, okay. AJ. Oh, God. Talking about self driving cars, a bit scary. What's your opinion yeah. on that as a driving instructor? It depends, like if it's going to be something that will progress quite slowly so it picks up speed gradually I'll be okay with that but it'll feel quite weird but if that car speeds up really quickly that will scare me. Mm. <laughs> One of the scariest things seen in the videos of the test was when, for example, you spoke about weather conditions where it was very thick fog or rain and it's literally on the motorway gone like boom, put the brakes no. on, stop oh. and have that feed, that's oh no, no, just no. Let's keep that two seconds of braking. Only a four breaks a two second rule. Hey, I like that. <laughs> Is that like a universal thing? passing on our left into pure traffic he is gonna get so far ahead oh he's done no <laughs> because this is just spring this is <laughs> you right there yeah i just wanted to find what your what second is what it will roll in what speed like it'll, it'll roll uh, at 10. is it yeah first is going to roll at five it's it's quite easy in this car, it's in fives the whole way. Oh, so five, perfect. ten, fifteen, twenty. So you haven't had as much experience as driving a manual as your brother has? Well you have. Same so. Uh I would say this is the worst I've ever driven a manual, to the honest truth. Oh I I I I've, I've genuinely I've just put pressure on myself for no reason, so I've been concentrating on. Sorry. Uh, no, that's it. And I've already. He's gonna have a I've whole failed. edit on TikTok I've, of you going. And I know I've already failed my test because I let me hands off the thing just already. Just eyes on the road. <laughs> so me. yeah. <laughs> what's that? Is, what's that TikTok? Uh, Caleb. Caleb. Um, Kate. Oh, I can't you know what I mean? Um, we... Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's you. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, no, no, but I think I've uh, had a major there. <laughs> Taking my hands off the wheel. I think it's two majors now. Car, bike. So would you say you drive any different now than when you did when you first got your car and your license? Yeah, I drive uh, a lot more, well, bar today, a lot more confidently. <laughs> So, so, do you still um, remember everything you learned, like mirror, signal, no, maneuver? I'd, no, the signs is the main thing I'd say. Okay. It's uh, signs. <laughs> you yeah. don't need to give me eye contact. This is what yeah. I say to my learners. Don't give me eye contact when I'm talking to you. <laughs> I'm not looking at you. Don't look at me. <laughs> I've got one eye on the road, one eye on you. It's, <laughs> I can stretch them out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> I actually have to say that with like new drivers where yeah. I'm like, okay. Even when, I, even when I'm talking to you, do not look at me because I'm not going to be looking at you. So no eye contact, it's not rude, you're fine, <laughs> you're driving. That's the thing, it's rude in my business, I need to give eye contact. <laughs> if 
you see the what sign. What are you talking about? <laughs> Where that are you going? That's uh, the circle with the seven in. Yeah. Oh, come on. He's looking, he's trying to see if he can Don't know. Six. Seven ton bridge? I don't know. Do you want to give it a go, Adrian? <laughs> width restriction. Yeah, width restriction. Ah, so that's seven foot wide. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, considering it's like pinching in, <laughs> <Yeah>. you'd think. <laughs> what if it was up and down? That's a bridge. That's a height restriction. Oh, yeah. <laughs> It's yeah. a bridge. I it's meant, like, no, sorry, I meant you're going through a tunnel. I meant, yeah. A tunnel? <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> a bridge is a tunnel. Like, it's the same thing. We get, I get you. I'm pulling your leg. Oh, God. This is making me laugh. My cheeks are hurting. Uh, <laughs> oh. Big outside, then. Point at them on the way home. <laughs> What's that one? <laughs> there's a lot of talk in this. There's like, there's like a whole section of just waffle. <laughs> I've got, I've, got, I've got to explain my answers from day dot. Well, you know what's that. funny? You know what's funny? Whenever he's in the wrong, you ask him, and then he'll think of everything, yeah, everything at know. that point and just oh, make yeah. sure he gets it all in, even yeah, if it's yeah, not yeah, in the yeah. right sequence. And you're like, okay, I'll give you that. Yes, that's exactly <laughs> what I'm doing. <laughs> Shit. Like, I know I messed up, but how can I go around this and say I didn't mess up? Okay, well, I'll. <laughs> <laughs> See, I've learned that from AJ. That's how AJ does. I don't fish as much as you. He's a lot more calmer and collective, you know that. <laughs> In this scenario, yeah, I've put too much pressure on myself. Uh, left. <laughs> oh, Jesus, the lights. <laughs> All right, so that's the end of your driving test. Are you yes. okay for your brother to sit in and listen in to the result and the debrief? He can, because then we can find out who, who, who has done better and who has done worse. Okay, so unfortunately you wouldn't have passed on this occasion then. Oh, I know. <laughs> There's a few reasons why. So the first big thing was um, when we were coming out of that car park, the parking space, you got into the space very nicely, you did everything perfect. <laughs> And then when you're moving off, you're setting off so quickly and I could actually see that car in the reflection of the windows on the right. And I was thinking, there's a car coming. <laughs> and you kind of set off really quickly. Imagine you're in a car, like a car park with like lots of cars around you. You're going to have people there. Yes. So how should we have come out of that? Slow and subtle and yeah. then being able to check what was coming, yes. I think you were just happy you did the manoeuvre really yeah, well. Yeah, I was, it. I was. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I'm in between these lines perfectly. This yeah. is great. Yeah. Besides that, when it comes to roundabouts on three separate occasions, you're not checking this left side as you're entering. Um, so okay. first example was Greenford when we were taking the Greenford third exit. You've entered the roundabout and you've just pulled across to the left. Yes, the road marking does follow round I like need that. To turn my head. Not yeah. even turn your head. Just look. I was looking at you. Did you're I not, not checking the left. Not even with my like, eye, just little. Little glance. Did okay, I, I can't see yeah. from your eyes. <laughs> that, oh, yeah, no, <laughs> no, 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 it like completely. Yeah, but it yeah, didn't yeah. feel like it, yeah, but yeah, on yeah. three separate occasions. Yeah. So I'll I'll review the footage, guys, and then we'll uh, know. Can you review that, honestly? Because I want I want to see if I know I should turn my head and make sure I do look, but I want to see if my eyes actually did okay. look. Because now I'm, quite, I'm, I'm, look, I'm looking for this. You know, like, I, I feel like I, I feel like I did, but I don't know now. So actually, okay. please let me know. Um, so yeah, it's just because it was such a big movement and somebody yeah. from the left could be straight lining it. Mm. That's the main issue there. Yeah, yeah. Uh, overtaking lane. Mm. When do we go into the overtaking lane? To overtake. And then? What happened? Uh, and then pull back in straight away yeah. after, yeah. <laughs> you kind of just stayed in the yeah. overtaking lane. Um, so yeah, if, if, if you were on a driving test yeah. and somebody just kept doing that, let's say that traffic was flowing normally yeah. and you just stayed in that lane, even though you're at 50 the whole time, but somebody's going out of their way to overtake you. Yeah. You're in the wrong. But yeah, taking your hands off the steering wheel. Bad, <laughs> bad habit. Yeah. Bad habit. Don't do it, learners. Don't do it, anybody. Yeah. You don't do it. <laughs> Unless you got a car which drives for yourself. No, you know, no. only do it in countries that are legal. Yeah, yeah I don't think it is, yeah. so uh, don't Not do that, guys. Yeah. Definitely don't do that. Um, <laughs> I've got yeah. no excuse for that, yeah. Clutch work is a little bit jumpy. That's just me. No, clutch work was jumpy. That yeah. was horrible driving. I, truthfully. <laughs> I was thinking I was in a race car, so I was like, I rev to, to, I rev to have a little racing clutch vibe, and then I was like, wait, 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 oh god, no, we're up at the top now. And yeah. Then I, yeah, I, it was yeah, just like, oh, it oh. was, yeah. I hit my head on the head. I, I, I hit my head as well. I know, I, I felt that. <laughs> okay, yeah, no, generally that was it. And then the other car, you know that blue car. Yeah. Again, she's doing what she's doing, but your focus was somewhere else. She could have hit your was car. On the right, yeah. <laughs> she would have hit your car completely. Yeah. So just. 
a bit breaking at that point. I would have paid for that little scratch on the front anyway then. <laughs> <laughs> but it's blamed as a claim. All right, so do you think your brother have passed out? I think there? AJ's passed with four minors, no majors. I failed with three ma no two majors and like five minors. Yeah, you you're right about yourself. Yeah. Uh, maybe and yeah, but minors I'll have to count because I don't write. I them think out. roughly around about that though. But your brother failed, unfortunately. Um, so I was... <laughs> Stop it! He failed! <laughs> what do you think for that, Kurt? What, 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 what do you think for? Not checking your blind spots ever. You didn't check them once. No, I checked them. I've not seen but you check the, your blind spot away, once. On, on the... Not once. You're right. Yeah, that was the only one thing, and I knew knew it from the start, and I was holding in my laughter from the start. I didn't know that was a fail, though. To be fair, actually, yeah. I didn't know that that was a. I, so I thought you were going to pass from the emergency. So, in other words, we should not be on the road. The Pritchard <laughs> brothers should not be on the road. So, who do you guys think was the better driver between AJ and Curtis? Well, I think we know that one, don't we? I do actually think we know after this test who that is. Who it's are you me. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it's <laughs> with that laugh, definite not. <laughs> He's bad, isn't he? It's a legion, isn't no, he? It is. <laughs> yes! <laughs> no, AJ, I think, was the best. I like the confidence. No, AJ was <laughs> the No, I don't like the confidence. <laughs> Imagine that on a track. That's oh, scary. God. But that's what you need on a track. That's why I'm good on a track. <laughs> Let's take you off the road, yeah. then. Oh, God, yeah. this is funny. <laughs> Okay, guys, that is the end of another mock test. Hopefully, you guys <laughs> found that to be useful. Well, hopefully, you found what not to do. Yeah, what not to do from some of Kurtz's uh, behaviours there with his driving. <laughs> but yeah, that's the end of another mock test. Don't forget to like the video, comment down below, subscribe, and all of their socials are down in the description, so be sure to check them out. Anything you guys want to say? Did you expect us to pass or fail? I expected you to pass. Oh, no! <laughs> Seeing as though we have when a car. When you started you... off, I expected you to pass. Yeah. It was a very smooth drive. Yeah, it was, but I knew he wasn't going to check his blind spots. <laughs> and, and that is a simple thing that I think, I would say 90% of most drivers now perhaps don't, do. when they've passed and mm, been driving for about yeah. 10 years. Sadly. I would, yeah, I would actually say that is a big thing which people don't do. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> anything you want to add? <laughs> well, I'm going to check my blind spots now every time, aren't I? <laughs> That's for sure, because I learn, I listen, don't I? Like, about the GoPro, I listen to things. And I'm going to turn off my uh, lane assist on my car, so I have to hold on to this. <laughs> yes, I'm going to have to actually try and drive. Go back to driving again. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like and bye for now. Thank you.